Hi there, in this video I'm just going to show you how to create random data in um, SQL Server and certainly you could you could take the general sort of ideas and stuff and and um, migrate to the likes of Oracle or, or whatever um, but uh, this is specifically to do with SQL Server. Um, I've got a table let me just bring that in. So here in um, Management Studio, I've created this very simple table called uh, My Demo Table. If I select all the records from it at the moment, you can see how basically it's all zero. It's just 20 records of nothingness, so I can't really do anything about it. What I'd like to do, first of all, is actually populate X and Y with some uh, values, but I want them to be British National Grid. And um, British National Grid, the um, Ordnance Survey coordinates uh, effective, effectively start in the sort of south west corner at zero zero and then move all the way up to uh, um, uh, up to very off, off the northern northeastern Scottish coast uh, and that's roughly 900,000 um, or a million really so it goes from zero zero comma zero to a million comma uh, a million um, so that, that's a meter based grid so what I what I've done is is said what I'd I'd like to do is actually just populate on this map some data around this area which is Coventry down here um, to Grantham up there so I've kind of made a sort of square like that um, that's what I'm talking about here so I want to put data in here but it's completely random so if I just bring back the management studio um, now the way to do that is to um, first of all, pick out your, you know, the, the, the X, the bottom left corner and the top right corner of interest. So these are the coordinates I found. That's more or less center of Coventry. That's more or less center of Grantham. So I want coordinates within the, that area. So the thing here is to um, appreciate the power of new ID, in fact, um, in SQL Server. And that's what we're um, going to be taking advantage of. So the construction here, and I'll, I'll paste this into um, the description so you have the um, full script there, the, the full uh, SQL statement to execute. So the new, new ID is a function of SQL Server that returns um, a unique ID. Um, that's that's the, the key point about it. So we've got a really uh, unique seed, a unique position to start from. Um, it actually returns a 16 byte GUID uh, so it's a globally unique identifier, sometimes known as a UUID. So, um, and to demonstrate that, if I if I just execute select new ID, this one up here, I'll, I'll show you what it returns. So you get this 16 byte unique identifier. If I execute it again, I'll get a different one. You see, so I'm, I've got a good unique starting place. So it's to take advantage of that. That's how we get our randomness. So we had to build a bit of a function here to to go to to um, effectively um, get cracking here. So the and and we're taking advantage of rand the rand statement. So um, we're using new ID as where to effectively start from. But we, we we've got a uh, a sort of ceiling um, for the data. Um, which is 491402 so that so for the x coordinate that's the um, maximum I mean it doesn't matter which way around you you kind of do the x and y's you, you, they just end up being populated anyway um, and then that's the minimum minimum value and I add the minimum value to make sure it's always greater at least greater than that um, and it's returning an int so um, if you look at the columns down here you can see um, int so let's just run um, so if I run this firstly, as, as we did, you see it's all zero. So now let's run this to generate X. Go back to here and rerun this. So now we have a unique X um, value that starts from the X of, um, that's actually from Grantham. So we're kind of working top down here, but it, it, like I said, it doesn't matter. It's still just a grid area um, and then um, let's do the Y let's execute that so we've 
we've populated X and now I've done Y. We've executed that. And now let's see what. So it certainly looks like you can see how we've got six digits. We need six digits for as a minimum for the, the OS grid ref. Um, and that's nicely populated. So that looks pretty good. How can we test it? Well, I mean, obviously, there's multiple ways of doing this. We can create a feature class, we can upload, we can import the data into the database. We can do all kinds of things here, really. We could create create a spatial entity um, uh, in there, but let's just display X, Y, so, which is straightforward. So we're gonna add the data and um, we can add the, uh, my demo table, it's what it's called. And it comes up as a table. And then we can just click on uh, display XY data. When you add data as well, if you click up here, you see there's add XY data as well. So we could have kind of done it in done it in one go. Let's display XY data. Um, I've done this before, so it's it's called it point two. Notice it puts it into whatever your standard um, GD, uh, project GDB is at the moment. Um, at bar, but we know it's British National Grid. So we're just doing a display X, Y, but like I said, we could pull that into a proper feature class, etc. but I'm just not bothering to do that. I just want to show the coordinates on the map to sort of prove to you that uh, we've got the data. So it grabs it from SQL Server and then it um, pulls it into database. And now you can see, look, see how my, my coordinates are more or less, you know, they're, they're Coventry to Grantham. Actually, they, they're absolutely bang on, I'd say. Um, so that's pretty good. So that's kind of, you know, I've completely randomized some XY coordinates. And, and obviously with this table here, you could do what you like with that, dump it into database or, or or whatever. And if I click, these will be object IDs. That's the only real data if I turn on labeling. So these are all the object IDs. There were 20 of them. So um, there's number three at near Grantham. Uh, and you can see it's got a high X value. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so it's object ID three. So, so that's coordinates, quite straightforward. Like I said, I'll, I'll paste it in. Uh, what about some other data? Well, again, you, you, you can, um, if we scroll to the top here, you can um, take advantage of a new ID. And in this, in this one here that I'm using update statement here, I'm, I'm actually kind of setting it up to 500. So it'll only go as um, up to 500. That's the sort of ceiling of, of the integer. So if I execute this and then go back to this screen and just execute that, you see how some value now has um, 500 or under um, sort of value. So there we go. There's two ways of, um, uh, th those are just so I reset to zero uh, and that's just where I captured the X and Y, that's all. Um, so there you are, two, two ways. One, to um, th that statement there, I'll put that in the description as well. In SQL, for SQL Server, we'll update um, a, a, a int field. Um, as you can see, that's returning an int. Uh, change the multiplier there to, to whatever you want. So I changed it to 1,000. Um, and now look at the results. You'll see how it now is, goes under 1,000. You see it gets up to 964 there. Um, so you just change that for, for whatever single figure and then use this to generate the X and Y. And of course, yes, it can be amended for um, other uh, systems that are built on that sort of grid um, lookup. So um, there's no reason why I can't, can't do that. Uh, anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.